advice and information from the experts. This is Ask the Expert. Here's Rob Carney. We've had our share of snow, we've had our share of winter, and we've had our share of mild temperatures here in January. And Greg Marcinek, our insurance expert at Heritage Insurance in downtown Moose Jaw, is here to talk about snow melt protection tips today. And uh, this is uh, this is very important. These are very important things for the homeowner. That's correct, Rob, because, uh, you know, the weather has been up and down. We've been getting down to minus 30 earlier, and we're getting rain now, and we just don't know what the weather's going to be but we do have a snow accumulation and you know come February or March the weather is going to get better and snow is going to start melting so it's very good that you are prepared for the snow that's melting uh, because if you didn't do the job that you should have done in fall that we've talked about numerous times is making sure you're clutter out of the downspouts are fixed and have directed the water away from the home you definitely want to do that now because if you see any sort of pooling when the snow starts to melt there can be problems for your foundation for your basement so very important that you take a look at these things the importance of a functioning downspout again uh, should be checked in the fall i can't say that enough But right now you should be looking at what that path of water is coming from your downspout and making sure that everything is clear of debris around there, any snow, any ice, and that that water is going through. As well, you want to make sure that your roof is properly maintained and if check and see if there's any sort of accumulation on snow on your roof because just to avoid the water damage or ice damming and uh, you can certainly do that now or as I would like people to do if they aren't able to hire a contractor to go up and do an inspection either in February or March and make sure that there's no accumulation of snow or ice up in your eaves troughs or anywhere around there and if there is clean that up. As well, the slope of your property is very important uh, because otherwise, if you notice any water pooling again, there's a clear sign that your grading is not correct. Your typical uh, appropriate uh, degree slope away from your home is five degrees. The other thing that's very important is to inspect your foundation for cracks. Again, uh, melting snow will always find a way through your cracks, whether it be a crack or window well so additionally the snow melts the water will seep into your lawn soil and this causes uh, hydrostatic pressure against the foundation and water will find a way into your basement so really good idea to keep the snow clear away from your foundation whether you take your snow blower out or snow shovel and around your stairwells window wells so it prevents that water seeping in through the cracks. The other big thing is taking care of your sump pump and uh, sump pump basically is your plan B in the event water does seep in through into your basement. You should always make sure that your sump pump is working and it's not always foolproof and typically power outages come hand in hand with flooding so it's a good idea to have a backup power of some type so that you can keep that sump pump running and again it does need regular inspections and uh, another good idea is to have an alarm as always whether it be just a septic alarm or a monitored alarm system so that you're covered 24 7 with that alarm system so just a few tips about what to do as we come closer to spring and we are getting closer the days are getting longer and hopefully it gets warmer you're an optimist. I sure am, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> For these tips and all your insurance needs, you just have to visit Heritage Insurance in downtown Moose Jaw, corner of First Northwest and Fairford Street, and online. That's correct at heritageinsurance.ca. This has been Ask the Expert, your source for expert advice and information.